아. 어, 어, 아. Most people don't know this, but most of the flexibility that I've earned over the years was through mobility exercises that include dynamic uh, movements and not just static stretching. So today, I'm gonna show you 10 of my favorite dynamic stretching exercises that you can do, and I either do some of them in the warm-up and get it over with, and the others I do in the actual, they're the actual workout. <gasps> Go! We're gonna start very simple in this first exercise, but we're gonna give it all. And whoever's behind you is gonna love it. <laughs> it's called the camels. We're gonna be in all fours, knees on the ground and hands as well. You're gonna perch, uh, go all the way inside. You're gonna bend and your chin is gonna touch your chest. I really want, to, want you to work the neck as well. From here, and you're gonna extend everything. So work that back extension and the neck as well. You gotta warm up your neck very well before any type of strength movements. <laughs> now I'm on the cross. This one is called a crucifix. You're gonna take your right foot to your left hand like this and torque at the hip. Try to keep your bottom leg extended. I know it wants to, it wants to bend. Don't let it do it. it. It can turn, but it can't bend. Like this, one and two. Always keep switching and you work on that hip mobility. Ah. Whew, it's hard. Next one is called the groiner. It's gonna work the groin, the hamstrings, and the hip flexors as well. Plank position, as if you were gonna do a push-up or a mountain climbers, you're gonna put the right foot next to the right hand, and then the right hand will point to the ceiling, and then come back. One, and always switch after each repetition. Remember to keep your back leg extended, not this, extended, so you really feel the dynamic stretch Ah, going on. It's really gonna open you up for whatever comes. And usually after I do this, I go for the advanced version of this exercise, which I called, I patented, Groiner 2.0, which is same thing, so right, right, and then here you sw switch left, so uh, the side part of your foot's gonna be on the ground, you're gonna torque, your hip to the other side and the left will go up. So this way you will really work on that opening of the groin as well. And then you switch. So from here, left, left, put down, right, right. Oh, it really works. Ooh. And then switch, side, foot, and then all the way up. Keep this nice position in the end. Next one called the rollers. We're gonna open you up, but it's gonna really work on your back and neck as well. So you're gonna roll backwards, try to touch your feet on the floor. If you cannot touch the feet on the floor, it's okay. Just go as further back as you can. So go. And then when you go to the front, open wide and try to reach. Turn off that cell phone, Louie. I'm warming up, turn off that cell phone, bitch. Now! Next one, I'm, I'm not sure what to call this. I'm gonna call this a squat turn. So I might patent it like the other one before and become a millionaire. So the squat turn. You're gonna get into your deepest, lowest squat, and you're gonna put one elbow on the inside and the other hand will point to the ceiling, just like before. And then switch. Ah. You're gonna feel that groin opening up as well. Ooh. Ah, so beautiful. 
This one is called a scorpion. You're gonna lie face down. You're gonna open up just like before. It's like the reverse crucifix. So lie face down and my left foot is gonna try to touch the right hand like this. Oh. And then the opposite side. Oh. Oh. See how this whole deal is already a workout in itself? Now we're gonna go to the bar. We're gonna do a scap pull up. So you extend, you stretch all the way through. And from here, you already understand the notion of, of stretching, of dynamic stretching. And from here, you're gonna lift up your chest like this uh, and engage those lats. See, uh, even your shoulders are feeling the pain. And then go back down and then up and down and up down. Now try to lift your chest a little higher and go a little, lean a little bit uh, backwards like this. Uh, and down. So these two variations are critical, crucial for you to develop even your pull-ups and to get you ready for what comes next. Now, one of my favorites that I rarely ever see anyone doing, the Cossack squat. That's right, you guessed it. I'm gonna put some weight on it. Grab a kettlebell, place it on your chest, careful with the bug. Open your feet wide, and then it'll go all the way down on one side, and the other will point to the ceiling, the other foot. Then go back up and to the other side. Wow. See how the weightlifting part of your workout already includes the stretching? Now grab a couple more kettlebells or uh, dumbbells or even put a barbell on your back and we're gonna go Bulgarian. This is a great exercise for people who spend most of their day sitting down because they close their angle pretty much. So you have to open it up and your opening of the hip flexors will really help with your everyday mobility routine. So from here, go all the way down oh, and come back up. I'm maybe a little too open, like this is probably better. Like go, oh, and then oof. 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 The last one is pretty obvious. It's the Romanian deadlift, also known as RDL. You grab a barbell, go all the way up, hands a little outside of your hip, and your feet will be hip width apart as well. Now you go all the way down, just bending slightly at the knees, trying to get your butt backwards, feel the hamstrings. If you don't feel the tension in the hamstrings, this is not a good exercise. Go mid shin, stay there for one second and then go back up. When you put some weight on it, really work that eccentric portion to get the most out of your stretching. So one, two, three, four, or five seconds down, and then up and squeeze the butt when you get there. Also, always keep the barbell close to you. Don't do this. Always close to you. Go all the way down and up. You really feel the tension on the hamstrings. Oof. Okay, now I'll put some weight on it. And we're done. Don't get me wrong, static stretching has its place. But for most people, this could be 80 to even 100% of their stretching gains in their lifetime because you're actually working out and you're stretching at the same time. So don't think that you're gonna lose mobility with a good programming of weightlifting as well. Anyways, if you don't believe me, just do them. Do them. You'll get ready for everything in your life. Everything. Even rough sex. Share, like, subscribe, and follow Instagram.